Okay, here's another finished commission piece. This is Studio Scale, a Klingon Bird of Prey from Star Trek The Search for Spock. Pretty much a complete paint job. Uh, most of the details to match the studio model. The client wanted it to be these very bright colours based on a uh, beauty shot in a magazine which was real full colour that intensified the colours and he wanted to get that look with this one without going too crazy this camera is showing up the blues are a lot more vibrant than they are in real life uh, they're much more pastel than this but you get an idea of the thing this is a Steve Neeson model from the US beautiful piece stands about four and a half five feet wingspan it's a big thing and then when you go underneath what the client wanted was landing gear that's what doesn't come with the original model so what we had to do there was cut out the base build internals make an armature for the legs sculpt the feet and try to get things as accurate as possible based on a couple of studio shots that we've got. There are a couple of landing struts missing from this at the moment. Uh, but they will be installed when it goes to the client for the final assembly. It's fully lit. We've got all the various bits of weathering. All the ident marks that we could find that were pretty relevant are on this model. An awful lot of detailing we had to do. Scratch built the front of these panels here to give them a little bit of reference. Uh, all these greeblies up here, another set of greeblies down here. All these were scratch built, as were the doors for the landing gear and the feet. And oh, a bit dark there, but I hope you can see what's going on. Beautiful model, this. Absolutely outstanding. Up to the head, probably my favourite area. All this lights up. I should have lit it really for this video, but never mind, I'll do another one. Moving up to the top area. Awful lot of weathering going on up here. And then to the back of the craft, once we come round the edge, the wing guns. Again, all heavily weathered. And to the back side of it, wing detail. See the amount of weathering and rust is uh, it's quite sporadic, but it's all there. And an interesting, weird, splodgy weathering effect on the back end that the studio replica had. So, uh, redone that by gently splashing with thinners and removing layers of weathering as quickly as possible for it eats through everything. Engines light up on an Arduino, they flash and do their thing. Interesting bit on the original model that was just left green for some reason. Moving up to the other side, you can see how many different colours there are in these wings. There's not so many panels that are the same colour. Each one has its own weathering characteristics, lots of paint chipping. Tried to match the weathering to the studio model on the top of this front section here with the rust and these strange streaks that run and the splodges running down here and over to the head which is probably the most complex part of the paint job so many details on the head that I have to try and get right to make it feel like the studio model all in all I think it's worked out pretty good. And back to my favourite shot. Let me spin this round so I get a bit more light on the subject. As it goes round it banks over on the stand. There we go. What a cracky model that is. Shame the blues are coming out a little bit too intense but uh, I think you get the idea. On a stand, but the Klingon logo not quite finished and centered up. Landing on Vulcan, and there you go. That has been one heck of a job.
for one heck of a model. Hope you like it. Come, I could just walking around it. <laughs> Take care. Bye.